well, down two ambulances. Yet first responders at Rotterdam EMS are still answering all of your calls for help. The agency's executive director blames mechanical failure. And tonight, we're learning the head of the ambulance company says they've been waiting on a state grant for a handful of years. Part of the problem? They had to come up with the money to pay for a required audit. Jill Kanapka has more. Jill? Benita, that's right. Doing that took Rotterdam EMS several years. Now, normally they have five running ambulances, and tonight a town taxpayer shares how the ambulance company helped her late husband. Absolutely, totally dependent. I had no other way to get him there. We can't survive without them. That's how Carol Colleton describes her two experiences with Rotterdam EMS. Before cancer took her husband of 40 years in November. He wasn't uh, very mobile, and they were very good in assisting. They responded quickly. Now, it's building tension. You know, we worry about not having enough ambulances. The man in charge at Rotterdam EMS says his staff of 50 paramedics and EMTs responding to on average 3,700 calls each year are the ones who need help. Thanks to a pair of blown engines that forced these two ambulances off the road for good. A required town contract mandates two ambulances with 24 7 availability, but no funding requirements from Rotterdam. They send us um, donations, and when we do our fund drive, but there needs to be a uniform and a stable funding source. We replaced one with a used ambulance and we're still waiting on another ambulance that we're supposed to get through a grant that was arranged by Angela Santa Barbara. Romano confirms the New York Assemblyman helped secure state funding in 2014. Here's part of that application for $125,000 to buy a brand new ambulance they so desperately need. The lawmaker took to Twitter trying to expedite the process. It's 2020 and we are still waiting on getting that money, but uh, it is frustrating, but I know that there's a process. Admitting, too, it took Rotterdam EMS a few years to come up with $10,000 for that required grant-related audit. We need it. We can't survive without it. We explained the delays to Carol Colleton. I think the town should try to step up and, and do something for them. We do not ever put ambulances on the road that are not safe, but we do need to start replacing our fleet. And this is the beginning, and um, you want to call and uh, <laughs> call the dormitory authority and ask where our grant funding that is. That would be great. And DASNY just responded, saying the agency has advanced the grant application to the final stages of review and in protecting tax dollars. The state says it did not receive the application until March 2015, which is when the diligence process commenced. To confirm pre qualification through the state's online grant application system, DASNY says Rotterdam EMS got that notification in January of 2016 and didn't complete it until October. 2019. Back to you. A lot of dates there. All right, Jill. Thank you. Let's hope it all gets done.